Yes. Now we'll discuss about the development of the heart, part eight. In this part, we'll discuss about the bulbous cardis, fate of bulbous cardis. This is bulbous cardis, sinus venosus, atrium, ventric, ventricle. This is bulbous cardis. This bulbous cardis is divided into truncus arteriosus and conus or bulbous cardis proper. If you make another diagram, this is bulbous cardis, upper part, here If you make another diagram, this is same diagram at three level. This is upper end, this is lower end, and this is middle part. Here, in upper part. Two truncal ridge arises. These are the truncal ridge. On both sides. And here, in the middle part, two bulbar ridge. This is bulbar ridge. And here, in this part, again, two bulbar ridge arises. These ridges grows towards the opposite side and forms a continuous septum. So here these ridges form the septum. Here form septum, here form septum. This septum is oblique. So this is septum, this is septum. This septum is oblique, like this. It is twisted, it is oblique, spiral, this is spiral, if you make diagram in this, this is like this, this is spiral, by this spiral septum, this truncus arteriosus is divided into two tubular structure. This structure is pulmonary trunk. And this structure, this part, this is aorta. So aorta and pulmonary trunk is formed. In pulmonary trunk, deoxygenated blood passes. As you know, this is, this is, this is direction of the pulmonary tongue. And here, So this is direction of the aorta, this is direction of the aorta, it lies here behind this septum, 
then I deviate to the septum and it passes like this. So this is direction of the pulmonary trunk, this is aorta. If you compare this diagram, this is pulmonary trunk, this is pulmonary trunk here, this is pulmonary trunk and here is position of aorta. This is aorta. So here, this is pulmonary trunk. This is pulmonary trunk. This is in upper part. This is lower part. In lower part here. If you compare with the aorta, this is aorta, this is ascending aorta, this is aorta, this is pulmonary trunk. The deeper part, this, this is aorta. This is ascending aorta. Here in the middle, it lies behind this pulmonary trunk, and in upper part, it came anterior to this. So in position, this is left. Pulmonary trunk is left, aorta is right in position. So, this is diagram showing how this truncus arteriosus divide and gives rise the aorta and pulmonary trunk. Now, we will discuss how the valves are found in pulmonary trunk. And in aorta, tricuspid valves are formed. Here, if you see under diagram, this is junction of the truncus arteriosus and the conus. This is the middle part of the bulbous cardis. Here, here endocardial cushion is formed. This is endocardial cushion. Here is endocardial cushion. It gradually it become like this. This is endocardial cushion. This endocardial, these endocardial cushions form the wall and Next step, these two structures separated, and here three valves are found. Again, there is a rotation, slight rotation. Due to rotation, position of valve changed. Here. In pulmonary trunk, this is pulmonary trunk. In this diagram, this is pulmonary trunk. This is aorta. This is aorta. It is left in comparison to this. Sorry, it is right in comparison to this. This is pulmonary trunk. This is pulmonary trunk. This is aorta. This is aorta. Here, wall in a aorta, the walls are. Two posterior wall and one anterior wall. And pulmonary trunk, two anterior walls, one posterior. This is one posterior and two anterior. Similar walls are formed. So this is all about the fate of the bulbous cardis. Thank you.